Hello and welcome to this Astranti YouTube video. And in this video, I'm going to be building upon a video that I produced a while ago, looking at capital asset replacement and looking at this idea of the lowest common multiple. We had two different ovens, the bake it and the hot bake, and we used the lowest common multiple method to find out that we needed to calculate the cost of these ovens over 12 years and found that the hot bake oven was the cheapest after 12 years. And if you would like to watch that video, then please like and subscribe to the Astranti YouTube channel where you'll be able to access it or visit the website www.astranti.com. And the reason for this video today is that I'm sure those of you who did see that video will be sitting there thinking, well, is there a quicker way of calculating whether or not one product, one asset is cheaper than the other? Because it's a very long-winded way of calculating it. And it was only 12 years and it was still a long way. What if the lowest common multiple was 70 years or 80 years, etc.? So there is a quicker way of doing it. And that is what I'm going to discuss in this video here. And the quicker way of doing this is an important formula for the SEMA syllabus, particularly for the P2 syllabus. And that is the equivalent annual cost. So how much on average, essentially, an item costs once discount factors, once initial costs, residual values, all these sorts of things have been taken into account how much it equivalently costs on an annual basis. And this saves a lot of time. And this formula is the purchase price of that asset multiplied by R divided by one minus R plus one to the power of minus N. And once you've done that, you add the annual costs for the asset. And this may sound confusing, but it only sounds confusing because at this point in time, you don't know what R means and what minus N means. And so I'm going to tell you what they are now. R is the discount rate. So that is the cost of capital. And N is the number of periods. So the number of periods that the asset will be around for. So let's use this formula now and calculate the answer to the same question using the hot bake and the bake it. So we can see we've got the same statistics here, the same cost for each, 100,000 for the bake it, 600,000 for the hot bake, four years running costs, 800,000 per annum, and we have the cost of capital of 7%, which is the same as it was in the lowest common multiple method. So what we can do now is we can use the figures that we've got to put into this formula and work out the equivalent annual costs for each of the ovens. And if this works right, then it should tell us that the hot bake is the cheapest, just as it did with the lowest common multiple method. So start with the bake it. We've got our purchase price of one million pounds. And then we've got our rate. Remember that the rate is the, the discount factor. It's the top of the formula here. And then we have got our number of periods, which is four. So we have negative four in the calculation here. And then we have our 80,000 pounds in annual costs. So now we need to work through the calculation. So we, multi we add 1 and 0 0.07 together to make 1.07. Multiply that to the power of negative 4, and that gives us 0 0.763, which we are now going to deduct from 1 before we then divide 0 0.07 by the answer, the answer being 0 0.237. So follow through the calculation. Once we've done the division, we've now got 1 million multiplied by 0 0.295 plus 80,000, which is 295,000 plus 80,000, giving us an equivalent annual cost for the bake it of 375,000 pounds. 
repeat the process for the hot bake. You can see if the annual cost are different now, the purchase price is different. We've also got that different number of periods with the minus three rather than the minus four. But again, the process is identical. Follow through the calculation until we get to the end and we find the equivalent annual cost for the hot bake, which is 348,000. So just as it was before, the hot bake is the cheapest. It's the cheapest using the equivalent annual costs and it was the cheapest using the lowest common multiple method. So that is a far quicker way of calculating, unless the question is specifically telling you to use a particular method or the other to find a specific value. If you are just told to find out which one is the cheapest on a per annum basis, then the equivalent annual cost is the quicker method to use. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you now know how to calculate the equivalent annual cost. I hope you now know that it provides the same answer as in the same qualitative answer of telling you which one is the cheapest or not as the lowest common multiple method. Obviously there are different figures here, but the result was the same to tell us that the hot bake was the cheapest. If you do want to watch that video on the lowest common multiple method, please subscribe to the YouTube channel which place you'll be able to find it or visit the website www.astranti.com so thank you very much for that and uh, please wait for the next video